my ultimate aim would be to start my own company and leverage my material science skills. But I would like to progress in my career, become an upper level manager, and potentially start a company. So after I graduate, I really want to work somewhere where I'm not only using my technical skills, but where I am uh, able to use my creativity. Our MSE MEng program at Cornell is different from other MEng programs, not only on campus, but also around the country, I think. Uh, because we have such a diversity of corporate projects, um, you can, you can follow an innovation track, you can work in a company, you can work on campus with a company. And you could also do a research project in a faculty laboratory here. So that gives you quite a, quite a spectrum of activities that you can, can engage in. And also I think that our, our focus on, on thriving in a corporate environment, the things that you need to do to understand and live and work in a, in a company environment, for those who are planning on going into industry is, is, is pretty unusual. So I think that's also a real benefit of our program. The MSE department and the MEng program in general is, is very, very small. It's tight-knit. You get to know everyone, you form relationships, especially with the advisor as well. I know for a fact I could have spent two years in any other college, but I wouldn't, wouldn't have come out better because of the sheer amount of detail and attention that's paid to each and every student. The MEng program at Material Science uh, Department is one of the most flexible across the whole university. Uh, you have the op option of uh, doing a project with a corporate industry, with a faculty, or even a design project. So that kind of flexibility was the main thing that attracted me to this program. Entrepreneurship is a hot topic on campus at the moment. It's, it's important in, in many other places, but Cornell has been working on this really for 20 or 30 years now. Um, and there's many opportunities here for, for people who want to get involved in, in translating new technologies into companies or into industry, into the, into the public space somehow. Um, faculty are involved in that in a number of ways. We have an entrepreneurship course, um, which you can formally learn about how, how entrepreneurship works. There are several startup incubators on campus and in the, in the area. Some are run by students, some are run by faculty, some are run by, by entrepreneurs off campus. And many of our faculty also have companies of their own, so they're directly involved in entrepreneurial activities themselves and can provide direct advice and resources related to how to get involved in the, in the commercial world. Right now, I am taking the NBA 5070 course, and that's titled Entrepreneurship for Scientists and Engineers. When I saw that, I was like, I gotta take this, because it's designed to give scientists and engineers all across the campus a crash course on being able to write a full business plan that is realistic and can potentially gather investment to start up a company. Everything's made of something. Everybody who wants to make anything out of anything has to make it out of materials. So really everything is touched by material science and engineering. That said, there are several hot, important areas now. So people are very interested in biomedical materials. They're interested in soft materials, uh, hydrogels and other things. But there's a lot of interest still in the classic electronics, perovskites, revolutionized, re-revolutionized electronics. Many companies are interested in, in metallurgists, people who can make things out of metals. So there's no shortage of things to do in ms &E. One of the advantages of Cornell altogether is that we have tremendous resources for materials research and materials engineering. And those are mostly, mostly shared facilities. So we have a synchrotron, the, the Cornell High Energy Synchrotron Source. We have the, a nanofabrication facility. So the Cornell Nanofab facility makes microelectronics and MEMS and NEMS and all those kinds of things. We have electron microscope facilities. So almost anything you can think of as a way to analyze and study and look at materials we have at Cornell and it's because we have this structure where they're, these things are housed in big facilities that have experts running them and yet students and faculty can still use them. In terms of the vibe of Cornell, when you're actually here on campus, there's a, there's a, there's a communal sense about being a Cornelian. There's so much happening in Ithaca. It's bubbling, bustling with life. There's so much of culture and art and events and things to do, ranging from Cayuga Lake to all the vineyards stretching up north. 
Adirondacks are nearby. There's a lot of opportunities at Cornell on campus for extracurricular activities, available for social events, as well as for going to different research talks and discussions. I totally love Cornell. Ithaca is such a nice, small place. People are warm. Everybody is helpful. You have so much for hiking, kayaking, and like everything is just out there. There's plenty of exercise facilities here. They also have a lot of sporting events. Hockey is huge. You gotta see hockey if you come here because that's a huge social connector. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the one of the most uh, amazing experience that I have ever had.